good morning, everyone. My name is Nadish Shamsaran, and today I am here to present to you my research paper titled Recycle Global Waste Classification Using Computer Vision and Deep Learning, which was achieved with the help of my team members, Mr. Kirish Sadar, uh, Sanjay Omugam, and Rabi Fugo. We are all in a, from the University of Technology located in Mauritius. So, uh, solid waste management is a global phenomenon which affects every single human being. Inappropriate management of solid waste leads to water contamination, disease transmission, transmission in human and animals, and increased flooding due to the blocking of drains. But it also has a direct consequence on the group, economic growth of developing countries. The World Bank also estimated that waste generation will increase by 50% in 2030 and by 70% in 2050 if no proper actions are taken. Uh, the most popular waste disposal method worldwide is through landfills, but it has a high impact on the environment, producing high release level of toxin, toxins and greenhouse gases. Recycling is another method which consists of classifying into different categories among which hand picking method is the most common one. But it also involves the manipulation of hazardous materials and it can have various adverse health problems. Barcodes and RFID were also proposed, but these have also a negative impact on the environment. The use of computer vision to classify particular waste product involves the use of sensors and cameras connected to a system to perform identification and actuator to perform the sorting. We propose a low-cost energy efficient recycling system based on power goods. This work focuses enhancing our solution to provide an automated recycling bin system, which can automatically identify the type of waste being thrown and open the corresponding lid. Our main research here focuses on the machine learning algorithm to effectively identify solid waste and classify them into six clauses, that are gloss, paper, plastic, and metal, cardboard, and trash. From the literature review, we have Yang and Al, which use a TrashNet dataset to compare support vector machine and one CNN. ADHP and Al propose a combination of CNN and SVM to classify four clusters. We also have Desai, who classified two clusters and use a robotic arm to do the sorting. Aral compared the five different CNN models with TrashNet dataset along with data augmentation. Sucius proposed a low-cost spot bin system using one CNN to classify six clusters of waste and a Raspberry Pi to open a lid. From these papers, we concluded that the use of TrashNet was the most common one. TrashNet is a dataset that they use. And not the, all the papers compared, all models are available. The main focus of this research work is on the machine learning algorithm. We use an empirical approach to study various machine learning algorithms to classify solid waste. Figure one showed a simplified approach of the system which uses a camera to capture the image. The image is then fed into a trained machine learning algorithm, which performs identification and a classifier further determines the clause and opens the corresponding lid of the bin. The second figure shows the different classifiers that is support vector machine, sigmoid, and softmax to go on with the CNN models. Uh, due to have availability and being open source, TrashNet dataset was chosen for this project. The dataset contains around 200 and 500 images classified into six different clusters. Original images is shown in figure one and an augmented, augmented 
aspect of the using the data augmentation technique is shown in figure two. Data augmentation is a technique used to increase the, data, the size of a data set during training phase. This includes scaling, copying, flipping, rotations with the images. We also use the Adam optimizer, which was mentioned by in a paper that Adam is more efficient. The dataset ratio was 70 to 30 for training and testing respectively. To note that these experiments were carried out on a Core i7 laptop using Anaconda, Keras, and TensorFlow libraries. The following shows how I proceeded with my training to get the best model determined on the training and testing accuracy. Also, the time taken to train and the size of the models. Experiment zero was training every of the 18 CNN models with softmax classifier and have the best 12 among them. Then experiment one, two, and three consists of training the 12 models with different configurations with the three different classifiers that are support vector machine, sigmoid, and softmax, and to choose five from each model, getting a total of 15 models, after which a selection process was done to get the best five. And for experiment four, we had to retrain the five model with better configurations and get the best out of them, which would be the chosen one. Uh, VGG19 and softmax classifier proves the most accurate model that it, it can be depicted in the figure with the other close behind. VGG models outperform the other models as shown. The top five models, there are only the two versions of VGG present, that of VGG16 and VGG19. An accuracy of 88% was achieved with VGD19 using softmax classifier, which is our chosen model. This table shows a comparison of our model with the one mentioned in the literature review before, whereby our proposed model is more accu accurate than the first two ones, but less accurate than the third, fourth, and sixth ones. Uh, to conclude our research, in an attempt to find the best possible machine learning algorithm for detection of recyclable trash, we can put 12 versions of CNN over three different classifiers. We reach an accuracy, a testing accuracy of 88% with a VGT19 and softmax, successfully classifying five clauses at a clause, paper, plastic, metal, and cardboard. Although six clauses always were desirable, as per the main research question, only five were achieved, leaving out the food waste. Our limitation being the data set which allow us to classify only one trust in one image and having difficulties in classifying objects with background would also be our future works along with the model optimization. Ending here, I would like to thank you all for having presenting my work here and also apologize for the slides that I might uh, wrongly due to some connection issues. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your work with us. Um, are there some questions? This was really an inspiring work and I hope we will be able to see it in practice. And I just wonder if, how far away are we for implementing such a solution as a prototype and then uh, in practice, it is like uh, one year of research ahead or five years or what, what do you think about that? Yeah, maybe one more year. 
just to uh, implement the, the pin port to connect the uh, API I have, I have uh, developed to the bin. Okay. Okay, we have one raised hand, please. Thank you, Chair. As part of the working team on this uh, project, I just wanted to uh, point out that uh, the project was done in two phases. So we had a working prototype for the bin, the mechanical part uh, with the microcontrollers. And then we move on to why not uh, do autom automated identification of the waste using machine learning. So we spent one more year. Uh, I believe like Nadish rightly mentioned, perhaps with one more maximum of one more year, we should we, we could get something which is uh, uh, interesting and, and, and see how it performs you know, in some kind of a test environment, perhaps at the university, I don't know. Thank you. Okay, 